This week began with the death of two celebrities and the birthday of a third. Entertainer Chris Christofferson died this week. He had a successful career as a popular country music writer, singer, and later an actor. He was 88. Major League Baseball star Pete Rose died at age 83. Winner of several awards, including three World Series championships, Rose was declared ineligible for the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame for betting on baseball games while both a player and a manager for the Cincinnati Reds. Former President Jimmy Carter became the oldest president in U.S. history Tuesday when he turned 100. Carter served only one presidential term, but is better remembered for his humanitarian work, for which he received the Nobel Prize. That Habitat for Humanity is the best way that I can take whatever talent I have, which may be one talent or five or ten talents, and invest it in the name of Christ for the benefit of others and help me become successful in the eyes of God. The campaign season continues and was marked this week by a debate between vice president candidates Republican J.D. Vance and Democrat Tim Waltz. So we've got 20, 25 million illegal aliens who are here in the country. What do we do with them? I think the first thing that we do is we start with the criminal migrants. About a million of those people have committed some form of crime in addition to crossing the border illegally. I think you start with deportations on those folks. And then I think you make it harder for illegal aliens to undercut the wages of American workers. A lot of people will go home if they can't work for less than minimum wage in our own country. And by the way, that'll be really good for our workers who just want to earn a fair wage for doing Doing a good day's work. Most of us want to solve this, and that is the United States Congress. That's the Border Patrol agents. That's the Chamber of Commerce. That's most Americans out here. That's why we had the fairest and the toughest bill on immigration that this nation's seen. Democrats and Republicans worked on this piece of legislation. The Border Patrol said, this is what we need in here. These are the experts. And the Chamber of Commerce and the Wall Street Journal said, pass this thing. But as soon as I was getting ready to pass and actually tackle this, Donald Trump said no, told them to vote against it because it gives him a campaign issue. Finally, replacements have arrived for stranded astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams aboard the International Space Station. The new crew members are NASA astronaut Nick Haig and Russian cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov. On behalf of Expedition 72, I just want to say welcome to our new compadres from uh, uh, Dragon Freedom. Um, Alex, welcome to the International Space Station. And Nick, welcome back home to the International Space Station. It's great to be here with bringing the 72 back up to 11. SpaceX is scheduled to return Wilmore and Williams early next year, but since the pair has been stuck in space for months instead of their original schedule of only one week, and the Space Dragon vessel is already there, why not bring them home right now? That's it. Time's up.